Hey guys, David Wells here, back with another quick tip to help you with your day-to-day -day development life. Today I wanted to show you guys um, a better way to basically update and manage dependencies for a project. So the, the JavaScript ecosystem is pretty amazing uh, in the fact that there's so many different modules and packages out in the open source uh, world on NPM that you can pull them in and you know get up and running and building stuff really, really, really quickly. Um, but as you'll start to notice in your package.json, you start to have more and more dependencies. Those packages also have more and more dependencies under the hood. And keeping these up to date with the latest versions uh, manually can be kind of a pain. So uh, what I wanted to show you guys is an awesome tool called greenkeeper.io. Um, it's free for open source projects. Um, I believe it's paid for private repos and what have you. But basically what this allows you to do is um, you enable it in your project and it will automatically track your dependencies and submit pull requests for updates when those dependencies are updated in uh, NPM. Uh, it's pretty amazing. So to get started, all you need to do is NPM install uh, dash G Greenkeeper. Uh, then go ahead and log in, set up your account. And then inside of your project, you just um, type in Greenkeeper enable. Um, you might need to uh, type in Greenkeeper sync to pull down all of your repos as well. Um, but yeah, once you uh, hit Greenkeeper enable in your project, and let me show you guys what that looks like. So this is a new project. Um, well, it's been a work in progress for a while, um, but I just kind of pushed up a new version of this. Uh, it's a React starter kit, if you're interested. Uh, it's basically my setup for different React projects. But anyways, uh, I just enabled greenkeeper.io uh, for this project. And immediately uh, after the initial commit, um, I got a, a pull request here from greenkeeper. So if I go ahead and take a look at that, um, and look at the files change, you can see that it's actually bumping all of my dependencies to the latest version. Um, and it'll do it in a smart way where if you're using correct semantic versioning, um, it won't actually uh, break anything. That is um, with the caveat of, you know, if the, the package itself isn't correctly following semantic versioning, there could be breaking changes. So you definitely want to uh, check out the branch that uh, Greenkeeper gives you and run it and make sure everything's good after you in, uh, install those updated dependencies. Um, once uh, you see that they are good, you can just go ahead and merge in your pull request and uh, you know, boom, you're off to the races. So um, it's really quick and easy to get up and running with uh, Greenkeeper and hopefully this helps you guys um, keep your dependencies up to date. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I've been posting these pretty much every other day or every day. Uh, quick tips to help people with their day-to-day -day workflows. Um, or you can subscribe over at my blog at davidwells.io. You'll see a little subscribe link here uh, and that'll um, send you emails when there's a new tutorial or tip posted. But yeah, other than that, uh, happy coding.